In this video, I'm going to be walking through some of the basic saving and loading functionality that's available in Tabletop Simulator. To demonstrate, I'm going to select Create and then Single Player to open a new project. I'm greeted with this screen that gives me several different options for loading into my new project. There's some classic game options, downloadable content, any items downloaded to my Steam Workshop, as well as local save and load options, which is the section that we're going to focus on for this video. Since I'm creating a new project, I'm going to instead X out of this menu, where I will now see my blank new project. When Tabletop Simulator creates a new project, it will generally select a random table and background, though you can change these if you would like. If we wanted to add a few components to our module here, we could select Objects, Components, and maybe throw in something like a checkerboard and maybe some random blocks. Once I want to save my project, I'm going to go back up to the Games option in the top menu, which is going to bring me back to this screen again. From here, I can see some autosave slots that Tabletop Simulator generates, as well as my most recent save files. Since I'm saving a brand new project, I'm instead going to click the big Save and Load button. From here, I can see the rest of my save files, but I want to use the Save Game option to create a new save file. From here, I can enter the name of my project, hit Save, and I will see it appear as now my most recent save file. If I wanted to make more edits to my project, I could simply X out of here and make any changes in Tabletop Simulator that I would like, such as moving things around or maybe adding additional components. Once I'd like to save my changes, I simply go back to the Games menu, and now I can find the save file that I saved previously, and by selecting and clicking the three dots here, I can see an option to overwrite my save file, which will save my new changes. I simply need to confirm, and my game is saved. If you would like to load a game, you simply click on the save file that you want to load into Tabletop Simulator. For example, I could select Test Game, Load, and that would load this project in. Do note that loading will cause you to lose any unsaved changes that you had in your previous project. If we go back and load our example from earlier, we can see that everything is back to where we saved it. Tabletop Simulator also offers an additional option called an additive load, which will add everything in that save file to your existing save file. So if I click Added Load, I can see that I have not only everything from my project, but also the board from and blocks from the other project. This could be useful if you want to pull a portion of one game or one save file into another save file. If we go back to the Save and Load menu, there's a few options here that can make it a little easier to manage your save files. One is the search bar up top, which will allow you to filter down to just the save files that match your search term. Another option to help with organization is the ability to create folders. You can create as many folders as you would like, and once you have a folder, you can click the three dots on a save file to move it to that folder. Additionally, when you are saving a new game, you can select a folder to save to that folder directly. And that's all you need to know about saving and loading in Tabletop Simulator. If you have any questions, you can reference the documentation that's linked in the description below, or leave a comment on this video. Happy gaming!